and welcome to Elementary Read Aloud. This is Miss Michelle from the Bexley Public Library. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, during the months of December and January, we will be highlighting the Caldecott Medal, which is part of the Youth Media Awards, which are given out at the end of January. So every week uh, for Elementary Read Aloud, we will choose one of the books that is being considered for the Caldecott Medal and that medal is given to the artist or the illustrator of the most distinguished picture book of the year. And so when we talk about the Caldecott Medal, we're really looking at the art and the illustrations. And of course, the story and the words play into that, but the artist or the illustrator is the one who wins the medal. And so today I will be reading Hurricane by John Rocco. All right, so here on the end papers, we start with just a little bit of information, some scientific information about how a hurricane forms. So when you check out that book, and you can read that. I'm not going to go through it today. Okay, look. Can see that storm rolling in but how beautiful are those pictures wow <clears throat> all right so we're gonna follow the story of this boy he's walking down his dock to go fishing it looks like this is my dock Really, it's the neighborhood stock, but nobody ever comes here except me. It's very old and splintery, and it's my favorite place in the world. It reaches way out over the river, and from here I can fish, or crab, or swim, or just watch the minnows dart between the rocks. You can see him doing all of those things on that dock. <clears throat> the water that flows underneath my dock comes all the way from the sea. At the end of each day, I walk home past all the other houses in my neighborhood, but today feels different. The air is still and the sound of hammering echoes down the street. You can see everybody's getting prepared for that hurricane. Even my dad is acting strange. He says, there's a hurricane coming, get inside. We want everybody to say, stay safe. At dinner, my parents don't say much. I tell them that the best fishing comes right after a big storm. There they are, the rain's starting to come. They're eating dinner behind those planks of wood that they put up on their windows keep them from shattering. <clears throat> that night, the wind roars and rumbles like the sound of a thousand waves pounding the shoreline. My window rattles and the whole house shakes. The rain doesn't fall in drops. It slashes sideways as if shot from a fire hose. I watch the river creep up my street, carrying with it anything that can float. I worry our, ho our house might wash away. Look at that car floating down the street. Yikes, that's scary. And here is a fabulous drawing of the storm doing its damage. I shut my eyes tight and try to sleep, imagining what might wash up underneath my dock. Oh my goodness, those are some big fish, whales, sharks. The next morning is silent. The wind stopped roaring and my window stopped rattling. I grab my gear and rush outside. He's ready to go fishing again after the storm. I almost don't recognize my neighborhood. It was like a giant angry monster stomped through it. Look at that. Look at the tree, that is a big tree and it just got knocked over by the storm. 
<clears throat> Hurricanes have lots of wind, not just the lots of not just lots of rain. When I get to my dock, I see that the monster destroyed that too. Oh no, his favorite place in the world. And it got destroyed with the storm. I ask all my neighbors for help, but their responses are, sorry, I wish I could, we can't, but end up helping them instead. Everyone needs help. Everyone needs some help to clear up that, that damage that was made during the storm. By the end of the day, it starts to look like our neighborhood again but my dock is still wrecked. I know what I have to do. I have to rebuild it. I grab all the tools I think I need and get to work. Most of the wood is rotted, but I use whatever I can find. He's working hard. <clears throat> and day after day, I continue to work on my dock. Just when I am about to give up, help arrives. The whole neighborhood comes down. We put in brand new pilings and bolt new boards between them. We nail down the decking and cover the tops of each piling with fiberglass to keep them from rotting. Finally, we add cleats for boats to tie up to it and a railing to make the new ramp safe. Together, we rebuild my dock. That was so nice. After all the neighbors were done cleaning up their own damage, then of course they were willing to help him because he helped them. And it becomes our dock. It's my favorite place in the world. Wow, look what they were able to, comp to accomplish by working together. That is a beautiful brand new dock. <clears throat> and on the last page, there's a note from the author to his mom and dad. It says, to mom and dad, I have gone fishing. I will come back with a fish. Love, John. P.S. I hope I will come back with a fish. <laughs> so that's a real note that the author wrote to his parents when he was a little boy. So he must have loved to go ship, to go fishing and decided to write about it. And then at the end, some more information about the parts of a dock. So I hope you will come to the library and check out that book. If you liked it, you can the more, every time you read it, you, I think, notice more in each picture, and picture books are meant to be reread. So definitely check it out when you come to the library. I hope to see you soon. Thanks for listening. See you next time.